Hi there and welcome back to Glitch, I'm Papa Chabalala and today we are playing a local indie sensation foot fighter with the lead artist uh, Louis de Pisani and comedian Vittorio Leonardi. So just before we launch into all of that stuff, we're just going to have a quick look at the trailer. <laughs> Did you look at me funny? Boot fighter. <laughs> okay, so I think that uh, really in the spirit of this very awesome game, we're going to keep this very loose. Uh, Tell me about the things and the inspiration <laughs> behind the things that are awesome, but it, <laughs> It's funny though, it's just like not discounting the local audience and going, Let, how do we make a local game without pandering? Yeah. And we thought, you know what? The plot for Double Dragon will only work in New Jersey, Essex, and Four Ways. And that honestly <laughs> is like the, the, um, the elevator pitch behind I, this I, game. I was wondering how you managed to take surveillance footage from a local nightclub in Four Ways and just turn it into a game, and you've managed to. That's awesome. No, but the good news is that always lands up on the internet in any case. So if yeah. something happens in Parkhurst, that lands up on the internet. I mean, we have such a gem that we sit on that we have the biggest boyki culture <laughs> in the world, and we have the most fascinatingly melting pot of different kinds of foots melding together to form the fist-shaped so, brown crown of Johannesburg. <laughs> so, you know, the, the best part about this for me is that I think that everyone immediately, when you guys launched, the, uh, like, released the first trailer for this, the first thing immediately, everyone was like, yeah, hey, but, like, it was like, you were almost auto automatically slip into, like, that four-ways accent. Ah, uh, sweet, back everyone up, has, baby, eh? Everyone sweet, has but Tourette's, as it turns oh, yeah. out. You know, like, everyone <laughs> has, like, a closeted foot within, because it's funny. And, and, and but culture is, like, everyone has a but on their street. Oh, Every yeah. Town yes. has oh, its yes. butt and their butt jewel. And even and even if you didn't have a butt on your street, you know you went to school with a butt. And if he wasn't a butt then, he's certainly a butt now. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yes. It's, it's that old nightmare in Elm Street line. Every town has a butt street. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't add to that. That That's about as best we can put it. We're going to now use that for the press yeah, release. For the, the, for the DLC. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> and, and, and certainly when you do your next trailer, you now have a, uh, have a trailer voice. <laughs> Every town has a Butch Street boy key. I'm sorry, China, but Gordon Dawes is the best voice you could ever get. <laughs> come in and, and voice another character, China. He can, he can, be, he can be the other Butch, because you can always have more than it's one Butch. It's always the second Butch. Or maybe, maybe you can be the Binet. There we go. I've, do, I've done things in a dress once. I'm not proud of it. I need it I, I am going to uh, leave that out. Uh, because I'm not entirely sure that uh, we need to know anything about you in a dress. What, ha what happens in the dress stays, stays in, the, in dress. the dress. It's what? fine. It's fine. Boiki, it's fine. <laughs> Listen, China, when, we, when you get dripped to the west rand of the moon, you can go and voice all the robots. <laughs> all the robots? <laughs> the west rand of the moon. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, um, apart from just the fact that, you know, let's do an awesome game like this, any particular inspiration behind, um, I mean, like, I can't even really, like the art style, I mean, obviously you've worked on Django as well, you know, I can certainly see the similarities from that perspective. What I want to do is that every time I went to Four Ways for a meeting on Django, because Graham and Michael lives in Four Ways, I'd always leave them a really abusive voice note about how <laughs> terrible I think Four Ways is. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think somebody wrote an article about how certain games can't fly today, like Duke Nukem and, you know, like all these yeah. kind of like shake it baby kind of games. Yeah. Like, yes, they won't. Unless. Unless. It unless happens in Four Ways. Because what happens in Four Ways stays in Four Ways. And, but I, th and I think the fact that we're taking the piss out of like... Unless you move and then, you know, it follows you because STD is but for does, But does the but, does the but culture follow you? A but, a but by himself is the one-man army but. Can you, can you ever become, you become an expert? China. You only attack Oaks when you have all your Chinas with you and then you, you attack them from behind. I'm, That's I'm, a fair fight in but culture. I'm three steps away from but. I'm Italian, which is almost Lebanese, which always brings a posse, which is but. You did a Mediterranean but. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> which means I have money and I pay people to do it for me. So you and all your Italian guys like to tackle out to check out your pin it, even by accident and not knowing they're attached exactly. to you. Exactly, but then it's, it's a bit different because sometimes Italian oaks are uh, checking we my check. We can literally do this I was going to say, I am a little bit amused at how easily you guys slip into the accent, the butt accent. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. My first or experience of butt culture was actually living in Pretoria being a student where I learned that if there was an attractive lass yeah. on the dance floor by herself dancing, do not approach because that is the bouncer's girl and that is bait. <laughs> That is a that fight. Is, that is butt fight bait. That is, that, that is that, well, okay. So I think I still want to come back to two things, but I think in terms of butt fight bait, I think that perhaps what we should be doing is actually playing butt some butt fight fighter. Bait. Cool, um, team. Make make a note of that. Hashtag butt fight bait. Butt yeah. fight bait. I think butt that I think that what we should do is go to some butt fighter because that is really what we are here to do. Sweet. Sweet, bro. Okay, so I'm going to say forward, forward, and then grab, and then you guys try and push the buttons. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Let's do the things. Let's do the things. Sweet. Okay. <clears throat> I hope that everyone gets audio of this back home. Uh, yes, cool. and that is exactly why we are going to be playing. This. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, this is going to be a real short fight. Medic. Yes. Oh, wait. I'm going to hold it at your face. Okay. okay. No, no, it's fine. I got this. Cool. Okay. I now you have a purpose. All right. Me. Hey, uh, no, it's going to be me. I think it's going to be me. There we go. This is what nerds in the scientific community refer to as a demo. That means it's like practicing. So if something doesn't work, don't say anything or we'll drip you in the face. And also, sorry. One night, I was out on the tour, pretending to get to know a new and very attractive Bennett. I looked away. I didn't know John Cena disturbance. was in this. Thinking that perhaps <laughs> I should intervene in something that might probably not be my business, but require intervention nonetheless. And upon turning around, I, like how you guys I did realize are. that somebody stole my Bennett. Realizing I was outnumbered by a lot of oaks, I had to clap in order to find out if they had anything to do with it. I did what any reasonable Norwegian champion would do. I called my chinas. Okay, so, doc, well, actually, no, this is for the arcade game, so I don't know what the button configuration on that is. Um, Let's find out. But you can block, we will, you can we will do try a special it. attack, you can move, you can mur, you can kick, you can run, and you can jump. And if you combine some running and some jumping, you'll do some, well, running and some punching. Okay, so Pippa, you are on... I, I am hard Eddie. No, you are... Wait, are you player one? I'm player one. Okay, so you are you are hard Eddie, you are mod C. All right. And you got to go to the right to jump out in the face. That's it. Oh, that's awesome, Brew. How did you how did how did you do that special move, hey, Brew? I think I pressed Y. I'm doing cool. So your meter in the top right has been depleted, and Pippa still has all her meter. Yeah, you have time for more fights. Hey, but listen, China, you gotta fight like top of four weeders. You must team up on oaks. You can't fight different oaks. You must fight them together. Nice, hey, Or you can push the special, and you can just clap everyone in one go. Oh, you don't want to fight. Come on, dude. You can't fight Bennett. You have to find out. You have to fight other dudes. Oh, is that a protein out. shake? We are, we fight. No, that's what it is, right? We're fighting over Bennett. Well, because you were, you were at oh, the Oh, there's another brew. Bennett, Sorry. And she was... I missed the other brew. <laughs> Does he know who you are, brew? There's a man now digging into hey. your shirt. Guys, what do we okay, now what has done is gone to the suicide mission and done the correct thing by assembling the case. <laughs> hey, stop picking up my protein shake, bro. Okay, to be honest, player two did need the protein shake because player two is quite bad at this. It's <laughs> okay, bro. It's fine. We'll talk later. <laughs> So, um, Gordon Laws and Greg Russell from the band Pest. Yeah, yeah. Um, I went to school with Greg. Oh, really? Yeah. In Branston. From Branston, hey? Branston. Because I'm from Branston. Um, yeah, but I'm not from Four Ways. And then various guys at the new reality studio. Ah, um, uh, there's the freaking a lot of NPCs. Okay. Sweet, bro. Mod C, that's lacquer, bro. That's a hell of a lacquer name. So apart from, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to now ask people to do more than one thing at once and multitask. Apart from, um, uh, your, it seems I cannot multitask. <laughs> so apart from obviously like your arcade version that you've got on show here, um, what, are your, what are your plans? 
Well, as, well, the, as the artist and animator, God, bitch, God. I can I can definitely confirm on behalf of all of the dev guys standing around, it'll be on every platform forever. So we are Amazing. developing for PC and then hopefully porting to Xbox and mobile instantly and then we're going to do PlayStation yeah. rollout directly afterwards. I'm, oh, yeah, we've got a fuck up boss. I'm, I'm really liking the idea on mobile. Yeah. I think that that is going to be amazing. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna call in. I'm just calling, just calling in my K's. posse, it's hey. Okay. Like, it's okay. You called in the K. It's okay. <laughs> Are we fighting Lolly Jackson, bro? Because that is just coming. Oh, yeah. I just got. Okay, play one I just got smashed, dude. I just got smashed. Okay, go what happened? Play one. You Help me. Yeah, they got to trip as a team. Is that bad? Oh, okay. okay, play one. Need to tag team. Come on, me. I'm just gonna kick this K in his K. This is what happens when you think about my mom. Okay, go clap the boss when there's no bounces. That's what you're gonna do. Ah, uh, see. Oh, so now okay. he's gonna call in more dudes. You also can, can you can, you can also call in. Use your. Uh, okay, play one. Play one needs that. Okay, well, play two just grabbed all the okay. help he didn't need. It's fine. But isn't this it just freaking thing. typical? While your guy is in trouble, there's always a boot who needs more. Oh, what the hell did he do? Fire up a zipper lighter. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely calling in his bruise. Oh, is that? Okay, you're one special move away from finishing. Ah, oh, Pippa's out. Um, oh, it's all down to you, Vic. Yeah, but Don't that's just now. Wherever there's a boot, there's always going to be more fights, bro. Player 2 didn't really do you any favors by picking up all the health. He didn't need it at the time. You know? <laughs> well, I, 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 feel, I feel like that you, you need to be using that special move, which is right there. Come yeah, on. Use a special use move. The special move. Mate. Use the special move, mate. And, and in then comes, go slap the boss. And in comes all okay. the rugby okay. players. Slap him. And you also have another protein shake that you missed another out. Another protein shake. I think he's just taking his time to die. You are this demo. Thank you for joining our demo boot. One fine day. Kung Fu boot. <laughs> so yes. Udon is mounted. Even though you cannot hear it, there's some incredibly um, well um, versed improv voiceover from our good friend Gordon Force, <laughs> who voices everything in this game. It's actually interesting how we do this. We don't script this game at all. Even the intro, everything. Yeah. We just get in a studio and Gordon just goes. But Gordon is also really good at that kind of stuff. So I think, yeah. but I think to, to be able to do something like this with the sense of humor that you guys have kind of carried through yeah. into this, you need someone who can just like improv as they go yeah. and mm -hmm. and really sort of bring we bring the bring four ways, hey, bro. We yeah. structure it and then we unleash the improv and then we just have <laughs> to animate afterwards and make sure that everything works. What I like about this, you got Hot Eddie and you got Mod C, which is subtle. Yes. Yeah, um, <laughs> I love his army of, of boot rugby players who come running yes. past. That's very lucky. So his name's Beast, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but for legal reasons, it's not. Yes, for, it's, it's Boot Beast. <laughs> yeah. And I just, what, what I love is the tribal tattoos, which means bugger all. It's no, just, no, they might actually mean something in a final game. It might be the mark of their people. No, but I mean like in, in like real life. Oh, in real life. Because like, boot, boot tattoos mean bugger all in real life. Actually, <laughs> what I was worried, are you going to be worried of like reprisal attacks? But what happens when 4 Ways sees this? And the, and, and well, I, th okay. I, th I think does 4 Ways, surely 4 Ways has its own sense of humor that it can appreciate the boots. And they can appreciate that boots can be funny. As an Afrikaans person, I'm allowed to say this. <laughs> you always kind of go, yes, I'm Afrikaans, but I'm not like those Afrikaans guys. <laughs> oh, I'm exactly the same. Like, yeah, boot, I like gym and fake tan and tribals and murdering oaks who don't deserve it, but I'm not like those boots, you know? Yeah, I mean, I like like Jono, Jono, it's just like you, man. Look, he's got a peak cap just like you, John. I, I like to clap gym and a few lines and a few unsuspecting oaks who checked out my Bennett, even though they didn't know that she was my Bennett, but I'm not like the boots. <laughs> but no, just like, I mean, fuck you, I like a like I'm a bit of a boot, but I'm not that boot. I'm not that boot. Yeah. I'm not yeah. a boot boot. So yeah. every boot that has played this game laughed and said, yeah, it's good you actually ripping on those boots, eh? <laughs> so then the other side is that, what is the sequel? Is the sequel like, you know, what, the the Reven boots. Revenge it, of the Binnets? It could be It could be the, the tale of Boot Banner, the incredible bulk. It, it could be anything. <laughs> I feel, I, I the feel like, the I feel like ribboning. there needs to be a Binnet sequel here. Yeah, but you know what, we actually... The you know, Bennett Bites Back Boot. Bennett Bites Back Boot. <laughs> and this is probably something we should speak off camera about, but like, yeah. guys have a feedback loop that they deal with aggression with more ag aggression because it's a convenient feedback loop for people who like to fight. Gordon Laws is very wise insight. Women don't have that natural instinct to destroy someone in public. They'll do it slyly, like on the internet. But guys <laughs> like to fight each other in person in front of an audience, laugh. 
which is where boxing came from but, and the MMA. But, sure. But I'll, I'll leave Dev had this great idea for a character called Brak Panzel. Which, Brak Panzel. Where we just have to figure out where to incorporate. So one of the things that I really love that you guys would be doing is the uh, is the town versus town vibe yeah. on uh, on social media, which is like really, it's, it's been quite successful. I think people have engaged with it quite a lot. Now, uh, which town has come out on top? Well. Um, Benoni got the most love, and unfortunately, we paired Benoni up with Parkhurst, and uh, but Benoni is bit, always going to win over Parkhurst. Yeah, <laughs> you have lawyers, you know, and and cashed, and you can always drip, you know, post drip. It's interesting though, because that was like it wasn't like a big clever idea that we had in a marketing meeting. It's all like, okay, it's Friday, we should post something. What should we do? Like, <laughs> I know, we should do a poll. Go on Facebook. Okay, we're only allowed to do two two, two options. Like, all right, well, we'll make it town versus town. Yeah. So that conversation lasted maybe six minutes, and now that's one of the things. And now that's one of the th one of the things. This whole game was just that, like, you know what? We should try this. Okay, let's do it. It was not like this thing where we sat together with like marketing yeah. so, You mean so you, not, you made a game for fun? For fun, yeah. And, 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 I, and I feel like that this game, you know, in a lot of ways kind of came out of nowhere. It was sort of, you know, people were, were maybe focused more on Django, which is a very different kind of thing. And I think you can see that you've worked on both of them because it's a very, like, clear, very particular art style that everyone is kind of aware of, uh, of that, that, there is a, that there is a similarity. But it's not actually the same team that's working. It's on. not, but it's interesting because in the, like, the first main room in Django is the bar where you have all of these gaming observations and this entire game could have been one observation in yeah. the bar in Django. So that, that hack was already being thoroughly worn. So you can argue that, you know, Django kind of paved the way for this mm. to exist. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we all have personal lives. And, yeah. uh, and Graham, what, per, what is a pers what do you personal life? What personal do you mean? Lives. What you is the are you speak a of? dev slave. That is all you do. You just sit and do this My thing tribe and tells nothing else. Stories of free time. <laughs> but it's that thing of what, watching this, and, and no word of a lie. A friend of mine used to be a bouncer at Billy the Bums. And it's that. These people have these massive upper bodies, little tiny bodies. Like if they fell down, they'd fall back up again. I'm glad you caught that reference because every character in this game, well, every male character in this yeah. game, have got really, really dack upper bodies yeah. and really thin Little legs. tiny bodies. Every single one of them has. Slim. And the reason why they have the big bodies. You need bodies to check put, out their guns, hey, bro? Yeah, so they've got their the big boots? bodies put because if people make fun of their legs, then you know, tomorrow is leg day, but for now it's more time. Friends don't let friends skip leg day, but. And clearly they did, so how many yes, friends could they, they have? they don't have that many. Their, their posse is not, they're not real friends. Their posse is a hard word, but... There are some subtle <laughs> nuances. You picked up on a character name as well, you know, oh, yeah. like a big rugby supporter, you know. You know, there's like a little political nuance in there. Oh yeah, there's tons of that. Somebody called somebody else in Parliament a certain uh, yes, model Yes, yes. So that's where that name came from. Yeah, but I mean, but... Uh, and we all on. had a good laugh. So it was, it was I, 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 a few years ago, I gave a, a TEDx talk, a TED, a TEDx Soweto, and it was specifically about video games as a medium for social change. Mm. Um, and it's something that has been a, an interest of mine for a long time. It's something that I've written a lot about. Um, and I feel like looking at uh, indie games are always like the best place for that kind of commentary because it, you know, big game studios tend to be a little bit more cautious about like making any overt commentary on things. Whereas I think you actually in, a, in an indie game, you can you pretty much. Can, it, you, I mean, exactly. It's you, a joke. Everyone must know it's like it, exactly. If you get offended by this, I mean, exactly. You can't you can't be offended, but it's also it's a ni it's a nice place to sort of bring in those small little references that you can be yeah. like, yes we might as well do this thing. But it's a big part of this game. There's an underlying thinking, which is like, I'm a child of 82, and we were raised to be the captain of the rugby team, yeah. be the biggest oak in the room. We're raised by Sylvester Stallone and Chuck Norris, date the hottest girl in school, go to Stellenbosch, study chartered accounting, and make a whole lot of money, <laughs> get your house at Jeffrey's Bay by 27. Yeah. That's where we were raised, and now all of that, that we were raised with is wrong because yeah. it's not progressive. Yeah. So this game is ironically taking a kind of, a, it's kind of a salute swan song mm, to all yeah. of that alpha male nonsense that absolutely. we were raised with. And, the, and, the, and this is the thing, is that I think that if you absolutely can um, bring in elements like that, and you can um, be able to use games like this as, as, as a sort of, as, as a, <laughs> as a, uh, <laughs> as a way to the mouth. comment on, here. on, on um, social situations and uh, your environment oh, and yeah. all of those kinds of things. I think that that really does 
um, bring an added element to it. And, it's, and, I, and I like the fact that this mm. is so South African, like any South African person. It's not pandering. So we didn't go, uh, absolutely. It doesn't pander at all. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, but I mean, the, the point is that like, people can pick it up and play and they immediately recognize someone they know. And if they don't recognize someone they know, they recognize the culture because this oh, is yeah. all about us. Oh, yeah. Us. But I mean, that's all good social commentary does that, absolutely. where it goes, you've seen this before. You know you've seen it before. You don't have to talk about it. We'll do it for you. Just let us show it to you. And it's the, what I love about this is it's yet another reason to laugh. I mean, yes. the second I heard the name's a butt fighter. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is this needs it's to be funny done. Though, I gotta give Gordon Laws credit because I think like like we should make a butt fighter game. And that was literally the working title. Yeah. And then I was trying to think of different names. You know, like I'm not gonna tell you what the other names yeah. were. Of course, no, shut up. It's butt fighter. Because butt fighter. they're not as good. As put fighter. Yeah, and you kind of go, like, oh, it's not clever enough. It's, not, it's yeah. too derivative. It's like, no, that's the point. The yep. point is, is that it, this is an aggression feedback loop. Guess what? Guys like to fight and be macho. Just go with with the name that describes mm. that the best. Absolutely. And it's, I mean, it's it's harmless fun. I mean, I think our guys, our main characters, all even though they are a bit, I'm gonna say the the word that rhymes with Russ, mm. they are a bit of that, <laughs> but. They truly believe that they are on an honourable quest yeah. to save his damsel in distress. Yeah. You but don't know why she it, left, but they have to fight everyone to find out if they had anything to do with it. Because guess what? They just like to fight. What's the bet? At the fart. end of the game, you Not find fart. out this Bennett's been yeah. in the fart, bathroom hey? the whole freaking time. <laughs> the whole time. And she still wants a tequila. Maybe <laughs> he's right. Maybe we have to rewrite a bit of the game. All of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the thing. I mean... With, I was looking at was one of the demos that I saw for this. It was it was the intro of Street Fighter, essentially. Yes. And it's it makes perfect sense because in Street Fighter you fight Sagat, and in this game you see your hut. Yeah, very good. <laughs> so it, it works. Did you have that one in the chamber for a while? You go like, all right, oh, no, I'm going to knock them dead. He's been, he'd been, he'd been sitting ago, here the entire is... time going, yes. I just need an opportunity to throw this out. I've got a minute. Yeah, I've got to freaking, I've got to throw these no, out. Okay, here's the thing about that Street Fighter intro. It's all like, mm. in, in the demo, it's like the mm. white guy punches the black guy, and oh, now yeah. the YouTube comments go like, how could they? It's like, it's just two guys fighting. And our one, it's it's the white guy punching the bouncer, and then the bouncer clapping him back, yes, and coming all. horribly short, because yeah. that's what happens. We even based the bouncer on of one of our favorite characters that used to bounce at Roxy's in Melville, oh, hence the big gold I chain. Him. I know exactly I who you mean. Him. <laughs> I think that that just shows how old I am, actually. Anyway. Pepper, you're 25, sure. That is right, I am 25, you're right. I'm I've, this many. <laughs> I'm this many years old, I'm 25. I, know, I, know, I do not know <laughs> who you refer to, nor the club with, to which you refer. <laughs> Can I do something incredibly, um, like, I'm gonna break the fourth wall. Could any of my team just take a picture of this and load it on the internet to show that we're actually doing something here? Okay, guys, let's do some social media. Looking at you, Nick. Take a picture <laughs> of us doing press, okay? We need to show, prove hey, the fact that look, we are this doing is the this. Thing that we and do. then tagging these people. <laughs> Can we just do this thing now? Can we just post a photo midstream? Break the fourth You know wall. what? Absolutely. Do the things. Okay. Post for the photograph. There we go, boy. The the that's how you do guns. social media. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I mean, where, where, where do, where do you see this going? Um, I mean, do we have like bigger plans to be able to expand, expand it to fart? How do you, how do you see? Do you want to fart some more? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have, we, we, okay, okay. Exclusive for Glitch. We have a bonus level where you literally fight standard grade mass. Yeah. <laughs> Test your <laughs> well done, Brit. You've unlocked the special so educational level. We you sometimes twat. go like, okay. Not, not all butts are bad at maths, hey, bro? <laughs> yeah. just, it's just maths literacy. Eh? You have to speak one plus one in cock. So it's funny, though, because we kind of go, okay, how do we how do we gamify the joke that we came up during the meeting? Mm. You know, how do we game, like, let's not make, let's not make a, a side-scrolling fighting game. If we need to make a level mm -hmm. that doesn't involve going from left to right and punching the cock out of everyone that you find, how do we how do we make that into a standalone level? So we're, I know it, it seems like a final fart, double track, yeah, yeah. and you know, kind of streets of rage, you know, kind of thing. Now, yeah. but we are going to have different levels because the fight do, the fight doesn't is not limited to left to right. So no, we're going to do man. all of the fights. I think it's going to be sweeter. Eh? Yes, you yeah, have to finish are. it by March because deadlines are good. We, we don't know which March, but we will finish <laughs> yeah. it yeah. By, by a March. By a March. By a March. A March. A March. Anyone, bro. Daddy, when are you coming home for Christmas? When are you coming home? Oh, Christmas, but which one? Oh, I don't know yet. Oh, you know. <laughs> Times change, eh? <laughs> you got to change with them, bro. <laughs>
So yeah, we're very excited by this, but I mean, like, even the Facebook page, just like, just got, got impatient. Like, guys, I'm just making a Facebook page. I'm gonna, what should we upload? I don't know, let's put some sound onto that gameplay thing mm. we sent through, and then that thing went, boof. So yeah. all of well, this- So, that, so that's, that's exactly what I was saying earlier. I mean, this, this kind of seemed to come out of nowhere, you know, like it was just suddenly there was this, here's a thing. thing. And we're doing a thing, and it was like, oh my goodness, like what we is this? Fire and how and awesome. then we aim, and then we ask if we're ready. <laughs> That's exactly the approach. But of I, game. but I think I think and certainly in this in this context, it has worked really really well mm. as a as a no, this spread social media word strategy, as a publicity stunt. Really. We have not put a single cent mm. into a Facebook post, and we never will. And but that is amazing, the fact that it is still getting so much engagement, and oh, you yeah. haven't actually put money into those things. But I think uh, it's brilliant because it proves that if something is cool, it will sell itself. It because will, exactly. Uh, somebody told me, no, there's this fighting game called Boot Fighter. I said, what do you mean, like Street Fighter? I said, yeah, bro. One out of three people who saw this game went, no way, I thought it was a meme. <laughs> they were like, no way, we just thought it was an amusing meme that somebody came up with. No. And then they played it, they really enjoyed it, and then bought yep. all our swag. But Thanks, that's the guys. thing, I just well, love you know the fact that you got the finger guns, bro. That's just huge, little huge. touches, finger guns. It right? was almost this, but we thought, let's not do that. Right, the <laughs> shocker. Now, that's at the end of the day when you find the bin again. No, it's not. Yes, it is. For legal reasons. For legal reasons, okay. Thank you. Cool, guys. What? <laughs> I'm going to do a barrel roll behind this very comfortable couch. You're not you playing guys. Dark Souls now. <laughs> so, where can people find out more if they feel that our long-winded rambling conversation was not enough? Uh -huh. Well, I'd just like to make an apology for Jose Suarez, the guy that was going to do the marketing strategy for our social media. <laughs> Everything just went big before he had a chance to catch up. So for right, for, so for right now, just look on Facebook for Boot Fighter, as you can see. And we opened an Instagram page yesterday for the sake of rage, because everyone <laughs> at the previous expo was like, what's your Instagram? Don't have one. <laughs> like, Not sorry. Prepared. Would you like a sticker? So for now, we're going to, um, implore everyone to go to Facebook because that's where the joy happens and Instagram if you uh, if, if you are um, more inclined towards the Instagram and mm -hmm. um, Stephen will be making us a website now um, <laughs> and that'll, that'll happen <laughs> now, 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 now they need to have weeks. a website because yes apparently yes apparently it's doing quite well well we're very thankful for everyone that supported us thus far you're all very special. Thanks, guys. Be Do I look YouTube like a chicken books. sitting like this, by the way? Because that's the only way that I can fit into this. No, this is T Rex. This is T Rex. <laughs> it's chicken is. T Rex. Angry T Rex. Angry chicken. <laughs> and the funky Angry chicken. chicken. That's, yeah. that's how to derail an interview. This is true. This is true. This is the way. This well, we way. said we're going to keep it loose. Not lame, just a little loose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming through. We'll see you soon, hey, Tannis. Yeah, but. Yeah, we'll so we'll check your oaks again. We'll check your oaks again. And uh, we'll be back at 4 p.m. when we talk to this other boat about Comic Con, hey? So uh, check out our, our, our highlight reel of day two. We'll check you guys later. Sweet, man. First bump, bro. That was too convincing. You're way too good at that. I'm the Cheshire Cat and you're watching Glitched at Rage. Really impressed with the crowd. It's far more tech oriented, which is really cool. Other events do tend to be split, but this is all about the gaming, which is super rad. I haven't been to Comic-Con, but like I prefer Rage because there's a lot more gaming culture rather than comics and anime. So Rage for me is more inter interesting for me. Myself. Not her, the Joker. I thought we're friends. It is Princess Peach reporting from Rage 2018. It is so hot that I had to get some ice cream. Rage just has a completely different vibe that you just, you can't change. Makes it all forgiven.